Hello Sagittarius, this is Amber with Lives in Sync to Row. This is your reading for July 1st through 15th, 2017. I hope you're doing awesome. This is your Oracle reading first before I go into the Tarot cards. If you purchase a reading with me, this spread will be considered the full spread. I like to start with Oracle cards just to open up the reading so we can see where we're going. While I was shuffling the Tarot cards, you had the Ace of Cups fall out. Congratulations. <laughs> so the Ace of Cups is all about opportunity to be fulfilled emotionally, whether it be in love, in work, in life. Okay, It's an opportunity, which means that it will be presented to you. You have the choice or not to pick this up. Okay. So your lesson for this time, you have Solar Plexus Chakra and the Lovers in Reverse. So the lovers in reverse and the solar plexus chakra together let me know that I feel like you're almost not ready or you're not going to trust. Mm, you're not going to trust what's coming in for you. Okay. The love card is trust, which means that you have to have faith about what's happening to you. Okay. And defensive. I, okay. Let me just one thing at a time. <laughs> So it's like you're in disharmony with what the universe is trying to give you, okay? You need to remain open and confident that that love is still available for you or that you can still be happy, okay? Even though things may have been in, in balance, you need to have confidence that that'll happen. Study, I get that you need to pay attention. Pay attention to what's being offered to you. Um, I feel like this time that you have spent uh, beforehand was about preparing you for what is, is to come. And you'll see that by little, little things that you'll know to do or say. Okay? That, that almost proves that information to you. So when it deals with others, you have believe and succeed. And that is the Six of Wands. And that's about the public or others seeing you, okay? Being successful. But you have to believe in order to succeed, okay? Surrender defensiveness. Defensiveness is a sign of weakness. To communicate is a more empowered way. Stay centered and hear someone out. Then offer a clear non-defensive response, okay? Steady. Pay attention. Listen to the signs. Have trust, though. Don't automatically think that it's not going to work out. That's not necessarily true. Okay? Just listen. See what's happening. Don't make any... Don't be too defensive, like this is wrong or something is off. I feel like this person is going to be not in your box of thought or what you thought you wanted, but it's probably the best for you at this time okay your higher self will like and know indecision i use my intuition in all aspects of my life thank you spirit so this is about using your intuition your knowledge okay your it's like your unconsciousness like you know something right off the back okay not by this is the scenario i'm getting let's say you meet a man and he's in between jobs you hear in between jobs you think this man doesn't want to work or he just wants to live off of me that's what you think automatically but you're not listening to the point that maybe he really is in between jobs and he's having an issue he doesn't need your support he wants to love you okay all right so we're gonna walk into the spread and if you order a reading from me, this will be considered the full spread. So you have the death, two of wands in reverse, ace of pentacles, eight of swords in reverse, the devil, the sun in reverse, the hangman, justice in reverse, a lot of major arcana cards, Sagittarius. Nine of Pentacles in reverse, King, I'm sorry, Queen of Swords in reverse, and the Page of Swords here. Okay. So I want to say before we start, uh, one, two, three, four major, 
five major arcana cards and an ace two aces actually because this one fell out of the deck so that with two aces that means that there's opportunity there's growth this month for higher understanding for you to better yourself okay major arcana cards with the aces say all that as well so you have to have trust um this is like a lesson month for you right so with the page of swords in reverse um that's all about undelivered promises okay I feel like that's something that you're used to that's something that you expect to happen but it's for you to pay attention to those as well pay attention to undelivered promises don't walk into something under the knowledge that it'll work when you're being shown that it won't um, but also just to be aware that to leave your heart open to receive things as well and just not cut things off because it is an abundant okay which is this Okay. It means that you're seeking perfection. Okay, You're seeking perfection and you haven't quite found it yet. Um, there's a delay in, in you achieving this Ten of Cups. Okay, And you've become more strict about the things that you want because you want to portray a certain... Mm, I heard Gina say <laughs> um, a certain vision. Okay, but this might necessarily, yeah, this is not necessarily the vision that the universe has for you. You need to have faith and make better judgments. Open up yourself so you can heal from all this old energy that's not really helping you. All right. So in the past, you have the Ace of Pentacles. You may have got a new job, a new home. Um, your health is better. There's some. There's opportunities for you to grab. You feel good as far as being secure on a material basis. You're also looking for security. Yes. So you're not really burdened. You've let that part of you go. Um, maybe you were looking for a job and were having trouble or find found it. Um, maybe you got a promotion as well. And it's helping lift some of the burdens off of you. Or I'm hearing others as well. I don't know why, but I am. Um, the Knight of Wands in reverse is about scatter energy. Um, because you're not quite happy. It's like all these things are happening, but something is a little off to you. Emotionally, you don't feel satisfied even though these things are happening to you. So the death card comes up about transformation. Things transforming for the better. Even though it may seem not that way, only because you don't like change I keep focusing on the people down below this horse and it's like they're in despair and just praying and having hope but the people standing look very confident and it's because they can see they can see past this because they've lifted their heads up and are actually looking forward and able to see this city in the back here that these people can't see. It's like they're so tired. They're so tired and they just are, are praying and trying to have faith. But these people are confident because they can see it. Okay, right. If you pay attention, look forward and not miss out on these opportunities because you're focusing on things that haven't worked in the past or things that are standing up against you then this flow of communication and action will come into you okay to give you this ten of pentacles and that that full security that you're looking for your challenge is the two of wands in reverse Two of Wands is lack of cooperation. 
mean that you don't see the help coming in or you don't see the person coming in you don't you don't see any potentials um, so you don't think that it's here or that it's promised right and that's what could be holding you back <laughs> you got the star card again so that's what could be holding you back is this idea that things will not come in for you. The idea that you'll be forever alone or left out in the cold. Okay? But you have to have faith. Pray. Uh, look for cardinals. Look for cardinals. Balance. Hope. Meditation. Take a crystal bath to clear off some of those energies, okay? In your near future, you have the Eight of Swords in reverse. And this is about you letting go of these thoughts, these thoughts that things will, cannot happen for you. I'm feeling like something's going to happen, like that Two of Wands will turn upright, okay? And you'll see that someone's trying to cooperate or someone's coming in that's giving you hope. There's some sort of hope that you'll be able to see. Okay? Exactly. Ex exactly. If you listen to your intu- oh, Wow. That's so much confirmation. Thank you, Spirit. So it's about being independent and prosperous, self-reliant. Okay? Not thinking that because you don't see it, it's not going to happen. Okay? Because it is. Have that confidence in yourself. Listen to your intuition. Know what is the truth and what is promised to you. Okay? And then you'll be able to move forward, have victory. But you have to have that ter determination first. Okay? In your hopes, you have the devil card. Your hopes is that you can recognize the thing that's holding you back. That you can recognize it, that you can deal with it, that you can have some sort of introspection, okay? In order, um, if you spend some time alone and you've did some healthy thinking, um, I feel like some people have been thinking and it turned a little negative for some of you. Some of you, you still need to do some thinking in order to transform your mind to something different. Okay. This is your hopes. Your hopes is that that everything that's promised to you is perfect, even though you can't quite see it yet, even though things might be a little askew. That you'll still get what's owed to you. That even though you've been dissatisfied in the past, things haven't turned out the way that they should have turned out, and you don't see, you didn't see any direction, and you've had to actually be by yourself, um, that all that will turn around for you. Your fear is the hangman, meaning that you'll be stuck in this position forever, <laughs> or at least for this time being. It's like you've been stuck here and thinking, not making any moves, not um, taking any offers. You're too busy trying to manifest your future as far as material goes. Working on work, um, maybe trying to help others. There could be a person, like a water sign or something like that, in your environment who expects a lot from you. Um, this could also be your own emotions as well. Being unrealistic when it comes to love or your emotions because you've been focusing on work, trying to hold on to what you've built for yourself and be successful and your weakness you have the justice in reverse so 
somebody's not gonna like this your weakness is that you have a lack of accountability for yourself okay um meaning that someone has a tendency to blame others and not look at themselves and this is not necessarily in a negative sense it's just because you want to remain strong within yourself and that's just the way that you have to go about doing it to stop things from falling down in you it's like your way of gaining your own strength being strong okay focusing on a new job or a new training or being more productive for yourself but the death card comes up. So this is part of the things that you're changing about yourself. Okay. So that's not necessarily negative. It just means that you need to be more accountable for your position within the situation. Okay. In your environment, you have the nine of pentacles in reverse. And that's about someone, <laughs> this is so funny, the, the person that's in your um, peripheral or around you, in your environment, someone is having issues with finances, or their life is a little difficult, okay, and you're trying to help them out. You're trying to help them hold on to what they have. So they can be self-reliant and not let their life fall down. And Spirit told me to say however. I don't know why, but however. This person, they could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. You also could be dealing with a um, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Okay, so it could be these two people in your environment are having some sort of battle of the wits, okay? Um, you shouldn't be involved in this, though. Right? You need to be the person that's clear thinking about where this is going. Like, there's no purpose in this conflict. And something new needs to start within it okay it could also be that you receive a message some kind of communication a thought about how to help this person but I'm feeling like they don't care <laughs> uh, they have an imbalance or a misalignment of values and they like to lean on you um, so I'm feeling like they act like they care that you're helping them, but really they just want the help, okay? So this is about you being calm and compassionate while trying to give them ideas, trying to move them along, okay? To give them some sort of structure. In your environment, you have the Queen of Swords in reverse. I mean, I'm sorry, the outcome. Oop, I apologize. The Queen of Swords in reverse could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Um, this person is going to be not happy that you're doing this. Okay. I feel like they're going to be cold hearted or over emotional telling you that they need you and all this blah, 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 blah. But you have to think about your own morals and values, okay? What's good for you? What's the best for you? And be clear thinking. Be clear thinking and do not let the past um, dictate your emotions or your, your clearness of thought about what you're 
put pushing forward okay and even though they're feeling this way even though they might be saying all of these things just know that they are paying attention they are paying attention about what's happening. They're getting motivated to move forward in their life and to do better. And to be more like how you're portraying to them, which is calmness and compassionate and intuitive in their own way. Okay, It's like they, they understand what you're trying to say. They don't like it. Just stand up for yourself okay? and what, what you want or what you need in a compassionate way meaning to leave your heart open but don't be a fool okay and messages so i feel like this is going to move forward okay this is going to move forward you're you're going to get a message from them um, that everything is fine or they're being successful but they're still going to try to emotionally manipulate you in some sort of way to try to get things from you okay so again with this card there's an opportunity there's an opportunity for love and fulfillment and happiness but it's like the other person needs to jump on board be careful of uh, promises that are not fulfilled. And I feel like all this is happening because you got some money or you're in some money or you're making good money. Okay. I'm going to pull an oracle card for you, Sagittarius. Ooh. Wow. That one fell right out along with all these others. Okay. But you have nothing to worry about. I don't see this card that often, so that's pretty special to me. If it focuses, that would be awesome. Yeah. I don't really get this card that often, but I just wanted you to see the artwork. Okay. There's nothing to worry about. You are safe, and this situation is under the perfect control of divine providence and universal order. Only infuse loving thoughts and emotions into the situation to ensure that the highest possible outcome flows effortlessly to and through you right Sagittarius okay so that is your reading for July if you like please like share and subscribe if you would like a private reading I'll be more than happy to do that for you just um, click on the link in the description box below I love you very much love and light bye bye